One of the most effective ways to stay lean is by following a regular exercise regimen. Today, we're going to learn how regular exercise not only keeps our bodies healthy, but will keep the organizations we work for performing to their fullest potential too. Stay tuned, because in the next few minutes, you'll learn about one of the most effective ways you can use to begin transforming your organization today. Well, hi there, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most powerful tools in the lean arsenal. We've all seen managers, supervisors, and various levels of employees just walking around. But what is it they're actually doing? Well, by the end of this lecture, you will understand what it means to go for a waste walk, what to look for during a waste walk, and we will share a simple training method you can use to begin discovering each of the eight forms of waste today. Let's get started. The waste walk is one of the best ways for an organization to understand processes, see the hidden factory, reveal waste, and discover new opportunities for improvement. Simply put, it is a time where either a team or individuals head to the floor and look for waste. A waste walk can be a standard activity, planned event, or a now and then journey of discovery. The best part about going on a waste walk is that anybody can join in. Participants need only minimal training and like many other skills, a waste walk helps people gain a deeper understanding as team members look with focused eyes. The primary objectives of a waste walk can range from simply going to the Gemba to discover forms of waste, validating issues, analyzing improvement opportunities, or even just understanding a value stream. So what do we look for during a waste walk? Well, as the name implies, a waste walk is used to root out the various forms of waste in an organization. As you may have learned from our other lectures on waste, there are eight major forms of waste in every organization that clog up processes, waste valuable resources, burn capital, and contribute to stressful, overburdened, and unbalanced work environments. Revealing these eight forms of waste is one of the first major steps any organization can take to improve all aspects of their business processes. Now that we have a much better understanding of what and where a waste walk takes place, we'd like to share with each of you how this seemingly simple method of discovery is performed. Let's go walking for wastes. Like many other projects, it pays to plan before you start walking. To do this, we begin with a waste huddle. The waste huddle is a quick stand-up that clarifies the purpose of the waste walk, reviews any necessary information, and most importantly, helps ensure everyone remembers the eight forms of waste. It takes only 5 to 10 minutes, but conducting an effective waste huddle will keep Mr. Tim Woods from sharing any downtime during your trip to the Gemba. The waste huddle is also a perfect time to review any details like current state maps, spaghetti diagrams, or other pieces of information the team might need. Once the huddle is all wrapped up, the next step of an effective waste walk is to assign areas for the teams to analyze. While every trip to the Gemba is different, selecting a value stream or an area ahead of time can help you focus in on pain points and remove waste from specific points in the organization. With a clear understanding of what you're looking for 
and where everyone is going, the team can now walk the entire value stream or area together. This time should be used to help participants understand how value is created and how it flows through the value stream or in the assigned area. As the team makes the first initial walkthrough, be sure to show examples to everyone. Seeing each of the eight forms of waste is much different at the Gemba and sometimes harder to see than when it is highlighted on a slide deck. You can use this time to rally the employees at the Gemba and inform them what each of the observers will be looking for. Now the preparations are complete and Tim Woods has some downtime. No, not vacation. This type of downtime is where each of the team members separate to their assigned areas or value streams and begin discovering forms of waste. We have some very helpful tools to share with you later on in the course that will help even the newest member of the team discover valuable forms of waste. You should have discovered quite a few opportunities after about 30 to 45 minutes. Those revealed forms of waste will now be the subject of a close examination. Here, team members establish priorities and discuss what can be fixed right away and what needs to be placed on a Kaizen paper or in an action plan. The final step of our waste walk is the most important as we take everything we've discovered and step forward. Arguably, this is the point where we move from the important stages of planning and preparation into action as our priorities and action items move forward. Well, that wraps up your introduction to the waste walk. Don't spend too much downtime with Mr. Tim Woods. We've got a waste huddle to get started. So, we'll see you in the next lecture. And remember, keep on improving, and we will keep on giving you solutions that ignite your power.